samba, sandals, and of course, swimsuits. All made famous by Brazilians. But lately, it's a one ingredient wonder that's dominating the export market, coconut water. The bland but oddly refreshing drink is a favorite right here in Rio. And now it's setting off a beverage brand war back in the States. That's because bottling up this Brazilian beach favorite is big business. The water from young green coconuts jam-packed with electrolytes and potassium has become a consumer favorite as a natural alternative to sugary sports drinks. This year we estimate that it's going to be about $300 million in retail sales. Right now one of the fastest growing categories out there. Which is why the biggest U.S. beverage brands have bought in. Coca-Cola dished out $15 million to acquire Zico brand coconut water in 2009. And PepsiCo followed suit a year later when they added the O.N.E. brand to their portfolio. But it's an independent New York-based company that leads the market for this trendy beverage, Vita Coco. They say sourcing coconuts primarily from Brazil has been a key to their global marketing success. Well, as a U.S. company doing business in Brazil, there's tremendous benefit to try to capture the spirit of Brazil as our brand is positioned as a coconut water in the space as a Brazilian brand, truly born on the beaches of Brazil. That's in stark contrast to Zico and O.N.E., both of whom source their coconut waters primarily from Indonesia and the Philippines. And it's paying off for Vitacoco. Revenue grew from $20 million in 2009 to over $150 million in 2012. Despite coconut water's rapid rise in popularity, fears of fads still loom in a fickle health beverage market. Vitacoco recently settled a $10 million class action lawsuit over claims that the brand was falsely advertising the health benefits of the beverage. Yet the company's maintained its market share in an increasingly crowded marketplace. 58 new coconut water products joined Vitacoco on the shelves last year in the U.S. alone. Coconut water is definitely here to stay, I think, seeing, you know, sort of the tip of the iceberg right now.